Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to troubleshoot your Dell desktop that is not powering on. So if you have experienced a power outage or maybe um, there was a lightning or heavy rain and you noticed that the computer was working last night and this morning it stops working or maybe it stopped powering on. When you press the power light, there's no power whatsoever, then we might want to troubleshoot the first thing would do would be the power supply all right so let me identify the model number here for you if you turn it around at the back of your computer and you can see that this is dell inspiron 3910 or the model is at the bottom here it says dell um, 32m is the model as well all right so um, let's go ahead and change out the power supply that would be the first thing i'll try to do when the computer does not power on and if you notice there was an outage last night then more likely hopefully that the circuit got shorted out just the power supply but not the motherboard all right so let's go ahead and begin uh, get yourself a phillips screwdriver we are going to unscrew the black screw right here on the top as well as the very bottom here once you have unscrewed them you want to slide that panel to your left and that's how you remove it okay once you have removed the side panel and pretty much you can see the entire desktop here so i'm referring to the power supply which is this box right here at the very bottom and this one is the uh, the one that goes into your outlet the cable the plug-in and goes to your outlet so you go to a power strip or go to a battery backup so those are the thing uh, the wire would be coming into the power supply all right so the next step you like to do is to go ahead and remove the three screws that is screw onto the power supply so let's go ahead and do that unscrew yeah just a regular phillips screwdriver Go ahead and remove them. Okay, so I like to lay the, the computer down because when you unscrew it, the power supply will just fall right off if you're having it standing up. I just wanted to show you that the three screw is coming from, the t from this angle so you can see it, but always work the computer laying down so that the gravity would hold um, make the power supply stays at the bottom all right so once you have removed the three screws you notice that the power supply is free and loose and ready to go all right so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start removing the cable uh, the first thing first is to remove the four pin connector so this little brown and black has a four pin on it so let's go ahead and remove them there's a little there's a little um, clip if you notice that li this little clip you need to press on the clip and pull it straight up okay put it straight up and that's how you remove it well coming through there this is your optical drive you have this little cable right here so let's go ahead and pull the cable out okay just pull it straight out to your left and you have this little uh, wire clipper that clips onto everything so you got to pull that little thing down a little bit all right work your way around it so we are removing some of the uh, uh, the stuff here okay at this given point you can see that the brown cable the four pin connector is coming loose it's coming loose it's coming right out okay so that is that for now the next step is this eight pin connector that connects to the motherboard press that little clipper and pull it straight up slide it down and we just disconnect that now here we have the uh, regular hard drive which is the SATA controller cable okay so this SATA controller cable you got to disconnect it uh, it's not part of the power supply but I just wanted to show it to you that this thing right here it actually um, powers from the motherboard to your hard drive as well as the uh, optical drive all right you can actually leave it plugged in you don't have to remove it but just a habit of my old school most of the time the power supply all comes with the SATA cable as well 
but the newer system they only have four pin connector and eight pin connector that's it all right so once you have removed that the important thing is to slide the power supply out make sure you do not pull the thing because you're going to go underneath that wi-fi cable And there you have it you just remove the entire power supply so let's go ahead and identify the model here if you take a closer look the model says uh, let me see the model says d1 80e bs-00 okay so the model is d 180e bs-00 so that would be the um, replacement part for that or you can look it up right here, which is the CN-01756V for Victor. Okay, that is the power supply. What I'll do is I'll try to link them in the description below. If they sell them on eBay or Amazon, I'll click on the link. It will direct you to buy a replacement power supply. Now, assuming that the new power supply just got in on time. All right, so this is the new power supply. We are ready to install. All right, so what you want to do is... You can align that little power light, the green light will be facing down at the very bottom of your desktop. Put it in. Slide it all the way in. Make sure you see the three holes. Put the screw in. We, know we want to secure the power supply already. Okay, so we just wanted to put that one screw in first. At least the thing is holding up. And I'm putting on to the second screw. And this is my third screw. Okay, so once you have put in the three screws, now let's go ahead and reconnect everything back together. Eight pin connector goes down to the motherboard. So that little clipper is facing on the left. You can see that the clipper slide in and lock it, right? Now this is the brown wire that is for pin connector. Stick it in, lock it. Okay, so we can reconnect back the optical drive cable shouldn't have disconnect that but it's my old habit because all the older computers uh, the power supply is the one that's holding on to the SATA cable okay so that is that and this is for your hard drive let's go ahead and reconnect them back together And what you want to do is just have the, all the cables lock it back in at the very corner just to move it out of the site. All right, there you have it. We just changed the entire power supply and hopefully that would power up your computer. So do not forget your side panel. So go ahead and slide in the side panel. Push it all the way in. The little black two screws, go ahead and lock it in it back in and there you have it so the two screws is on the side panel is all the way in and hopefully you can turn on the computer so plug in the power okay plug in your monitor the HDMI or the display port your mouse and keyboard your speaker and your Ethernet cable right there and everything is plugged in say a prayer or two whatever you feel like and go ahead and press the power button hopefully the computer powers up and you have a display then that is a good sign because the power outage last night was only burn out the power supply has nothing to do with the motherboard or anything else now if you have changed the power supply and you press the power button and there's no power whatsoever to the computer then i think that 
um, you're in a bigger trouble, meaning that the power supply is not the case, that might have been the motherboard. And if that is the case, then um, sorry, you might want to consider changing the motherboard or buying a new computer at that point. All right. And I hope this video is helpful. If you find the video is helpful, please give me a like. Make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe the channel as well. And of course, I reach a comment. Comment below if you have any question regarding about computer repair. I'm here to answer those questions. Thanks for watching and have a good day.